I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. That means I'm going to play four hands at one time. It's a great way to learn all the scoring elements and practice decision making pick by pick. If you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know if it shortens your learning curve. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14. South, West, and North will get 13 each. Then we're going to analyze each hand and see where we can find some fawn. We got to have eight fawn to qualify to win. Don't count flowers. That will be an embarrassing mistake. Trust me, been there, done that. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. We have one flower. This will not count with our eight point minimum. We'll just save that for later and get a replacement from the back of the wall. We do have all the threes. We have two pair. I think what I would do here is discard these first. Keep the threes. If we pair up, we could maybe play triple pwn. That would be number 32, the same pung in three suits, 16 fawn. I think that's kind of a long shot. So for plan A, here we have two, three, four, five, six. Yikes, that's a lot. I was thinking we could do all simples, but we would have to get rid of all those. All right, let's start by discarding these. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe do knitted tiles, lesser honors and knitted tiles because we have three, six, nine, we have a seven, but we have very little dot represent. Well, we have no dot representation and we'd have to throw away a pair of threes. So, Let's just wait and see and start by discarding these two. Let's see what we can do now for South. Oh, I forgot to say it's the East round. Seven, eight, seven. No representation here. I try to look for repeating patterns. There is a little bit of a two, three, four potential here, but I'm thinking primarily half flush. Half flush is going to be number 50, six fawn. So we would need two more fawns somewhere. Maybe a straight, one, two, three, one through, five, one through six maybe for a short straight. Short straight is number 71. That's one fawn. We'll see. Either way, we didn't use these. I would start by discarding here. Another thing we could do is discard the dot and void a suit if we can't get to our half flush. Voiding a suit is only one fawn, but it adds up. 
That would be number 75, one voided suit, one fawn. So we'll see. So we'll throw these first. Let's see what we can do for West. Four flower. The number doesn't matter. Six dot. Okay, we have mixed suits here. Mixed suits. One, two, three, four honors. Maybe all simples. We have four, six, five, six, five. We might be able to do mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is number 51, and that is six fawn. So I think what I would probably do here is discard the one first. And then maybe the two. Discard the one and the two because we could potentially play a half flesh here. That's six discards though. That's a lot. So I think I would keep the mixed triple chow potential, leaving us with these two unused. So by process of elimination, uh, I think throw the one first because we could throw the one, the nine, and the dragons and do all simples. So let's start by throwing the one and see what we draw and just take it from there. Because these, if we pair up, you can get a two fawn for any pung of dragons. But you gotta pair up. You can't do anything with singles unless you're doing something knitted or 13 orphans, which is an 88 point hand and very rare. Okay, let's see what we can do for north. Half flesh. I think I would do half flesh. We have a chow here, potential pung, potential pung. We just need to pair up. I think I would start by discarding the dots. Okay, <clears throat> I think we're ready to go. We're gonna start by discarding a nine crack for east. Nine crack, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Eight bam, that is not helpful. <clears throat> Let's discard the seven dot. I'm gonna use this to help remember whose turn it is. So for seven dot, I was thinking all simples here if we do five, six, seven, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that. We could do all simples and mix triple chow, but we're really light here. And we could do four, five, six, four, five, six, four, five, six. Let's not commit yet. There's a nine. That's not going to be helpful because I'm thinking all simples is going to be better. Let's discard the nine dot. Keep the chow potential. Nobody can take a nine dot, so let's draw. Three bam, that's their suit for half flesh. Let's get rid of this eight dot. And we can draw down here. Nobody can take the eight dot. Red dragon, that's, that could be good for the knitted potential. We have three, six, nine, one, four, seven. We need a two, five, eight in here. Let's get rid of the nine dot and draw south. That's good, that's their seat. That's too fun if we can pung. Let's go ahead and discard the eight dot. We'll draw here. Five crack, four, five, six, four, five, six, four, five, six. If we can get a four bam or a five bam, 
that could help us with that mixed triple chow. Let's get rid of the one dot. Shoot for maybe all simples and mixed triple chow, which means we need to get rid of these and that. One dot was thrown. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Four bam, they're drawing really well. Potential pung, potential chow, chow, potential pung. Let's get rid of the offsuit tiles. Two dot, two dot, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw. Six dot, they have a lot of three, six, nine in here, but that is not part of this particular set of scoring. Three, six, nine in each suit, not so much. So I think we need to discard. Let's discard the six dot. We can still maybe pair up these threes. There are none out right now. Let's draw four south. Nine crack. That is their primary suit right there. Okay, let's get rid of the eight bam. They do still have some mixed triple chow potential with two, three, four. But this is coming in pretty nicely. One, two, three, potential chow here, potential chow here, potential pung. One, two, three, four blocks. All we need is a pair in there. I'm thinking half flush is going to be better for them. Half flush and, and pung of seat wind, that would be eight fawn. So let's draw now for this player. So here we're thinking mixed triple chow on all simples. So that eight bam is not going to help. Green dragon, they paired up. Paired up a dragon, that's two fawn right there. What about mixed triple chow and dragon pung? Let's get rid of the two dot. So mixed triple chow, mixed triple chow is number 70. That's mixed triple chow is number 41. Eight fawn, dragon pung is two. That would be a 10 fawn. So we need here a four or a six badly. And we'd have to break this up. All right, well, we'll just see what happens. Up here, we could technically take that for a six, seven, eight, but I've been told to not break a chow, to make a chow if it leaves an isolated tile, which it would do here. So by breaking this one to make the same chow, we're leaving an isolated eight. I think we're better off to draw. And we paired up. So that was a really good choice. We're gonna get rid of this last offsuit tile and we're cleared to half flush. Probably get rid of the white dragon next. Here's a potential pung or pair, potential chow, chow, two potential pungs, one, two, three, four, five blocks. We don't really need any of those there. So this hand is set to go with the right tiles. They're on their way in three discards. Let's now draw here four dot. Nobody can take it. You can only chow from the player on your left. So we'll draw. Eight dot is a discard. Drawing for player two, south. Flower. Four dot. Okay, we have a two, four, two, four, two, three. I think half flush is probably a probably more likely with their half flush seat wind. Let's go ahead and get rid of these tiles. Two bam, two bam, nobody can take. We're gonna draw two crack. We want four, five, six. This is not gonna help. Two crack, nobody can take it. So we'll draw seven dot. Drawing four east. Four crack, three, three, four, three. None of this is coming in for them. Let's see, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. I'm thinking we need to get rid of these threes. 
We only have, we have two pair, one, four, seven. Let's get rid of the three crack. That really is not helping them. And the triple pung is really unlikely with only one pair there. So three crack was discarded. So let's see if we can break a chow, leaving a potential chow. So in this case, I would go ahead and break a chow to make a chow because it's leaving a potential chow. Here we have a pear or a potential pung. The other thing is though, here we have a chow and then two potential chows. Whereas if we break that chow to make a chow, we would be back to two. Two potential blocks, a chow and a potential pung. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and a pair. We'd need to pair up one of those. Let's chow. Get rid of the four bam. Okay, so we have two tiles here that we can potentially pair up because we want to pung here, pung here, chow here, or we could chow here and here and pair up here. So we'll see. This is the focus right now, right there. Four bam was discarded. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw east. Okay, now we have to decide what to do. That's not going to be helpful, actually. That'll help get to a half flush, but as singles, those are not going to help. And we have five discards. I think we're better off to still try for mixed triple chow and see if we can get a four or a six here. So let's, let's focus on that. Since the East could potentially bring us score, let's throw the two bam. See if we can make this mixed triple chow work. Two bam, two bam, we can chow. Chow. Okay, let's discard the white dragon. So we need to pung, pung, pung. We're getting there. White dragon, nobody can take, so we'll draw. One crack. One, four, seven, three, one, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Let's get rid of the three dot. It's going nowhere. Three dot. Now here, we're doing cracks. We need to get rid of these. Don't be tempted. You'll mess yourself up if you're tempted to make complete a block that does not fit your plan. In this case, half flesh, seat win, pong. Let's draw. Nine dot. Okay, that was the last tile of the second wall. We're going into the third wall now. Everybody should know where they're going to get their eight point minimum here. Let's see, it's this player's turn next. So here we're playing either lesser honors and knitted tiles or half flesh. They have a long way to go. They might even go defense because they don't have any pairs here. One pair here. And really only one potential chow, potential pung. Really not good here. Here, we have a half flesh. They already have a chow out. They're set here, 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 here. They've got all kinds of flexibility there, and they're ready to pung their seat. I would play to win here. For a half flesh, pung a seat win. Here, mixed triple chow, really light here, but they do have a pair of dragons they might be able to take. I would push for a little while. Here, I would play to win. Half flesh, they're set. They just need to pung pung. We need a four bam or a six bam. Two dot. Darn it. Okay, here we go. 
Nobody can take it to crack. Nobody can take it. We'll draw one, one dot. That's not helpful. We need a two, five, eight in dots if we're going to do the knitted tiles. Lesser honors and knitted tiles. We have three, six, nine, one, four, seven. We need a two, five, eight in dots. That's a huge gap. One dot, so nobody can take it. We're going to draw four south. Three dot, oh, too bad. Let's see. All these are good discards. They're all out. Two dot. Let's draw. Eight bam. They got a keeper for half flesh. I think they're now at a point where they have to decide. Five, six, five, six, five, seven. Let's get rid of the four crack because they still have five, six, seven potential for crack. So they still have the potential to use these two blocks. Then they could maybe pung here and pung here or pung here and use that as a pair. One, two, three, four blocks in a pair. So really this would probably be good and th these would be good to discard next. So yeah, that was a good pick. Let's draw. Eight crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw four east. Flower. Five. Oh my gosh, they got the five. One, four, seven, two, five, eight. Now there's all the twos are out. So that's not going to work unless they switch to greater honors and knitted tiles. But we've got a long way to go here. There's one white dragon out, but no other honors are out. Let's discard the three dot and either play defense or greater honors and knitted tiles. That way we can use all of these. Well, no, we wouldn't be able to use all of them. We'd have to pick them off because these we're going to need to get seven odd honors and we only have four. I would say this player should either switch to defense or try for half flesh, which is a long shot at this stage of the game. So I would say more likely than not defense here. Okay, we're going to draw green dragon. Let's get rid of the three dot. They're pretty committed here to half flesh. Nobody can take a three dot. White. Okay. I think we should go ahead and stick with the plan here because these single honors are not helpful. We would have four discards here, four discards here either way, but here we can act. With these single honors, we cannot act to get them a half flesh. So let's discard the east. Nobody can take that east, so we're going to draw here. South. Okay, look at that. So let's keep the north because that could give them score. It's east round, so either one of these can go. Let's discard the south. It's arbitrary for them. So here now, we're going to Pung. Pung for South. Let's get rid of the four dot. Nobody can take it except right here. Four, five, six, four, five, six. I think they're better off with five, six, seven. So let's draw. They got a six. That's not helpful for a mixed triple chow. Let's discard. Drawing four north. Nine bam. We can discard the south. And then down here, we can draw. 
8 crack. If we do 258, 147258369 or half flush, let's get rid of that 8 crack. Up here, we can chow. Chow. So now we have a potential chow here or here. A white dragon was thrown. Let's discard that. And we can draw here. Eight dot, not helpful. We're going to draw four north. One crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Four dot. That's not at all helpful. And they're out. Drawing for south, four dot. Drawing for west, five crack. We've already got a five crack. Five crack, nobody can take. One bam. Okay, here we go. Doesn't really matter what we toss. Nine bam, six bam, neither are out. Let's throw away the edge, nine bam. They're ready to win on a north or a west, preferably the north, because they have a half flush. They need to do the north because a half flush is six fawn. They need that seat, pung seat win for two more fawn, getting them to eight and eight fawn minimum. So we need the eight fawn to win. Or we, yeah, so we need the north to win with eight fawn. So now down here, we'll draw east. Okay, well, let's see, four, four, six. Okay, all the souths are out in a pung and a discard. So greater honors in knitted tiles is not going to happen. Two, five, eight is not possible because all the twos are out. So we need to just switch to defense at this point. One crack was recently thrown. Let's discard that. And let's draw west. This has potential. We need to discard here, either here or here. Let's discard the west. Because really only one player may be holding that west for seat wind. And in this case, north could take it, but they only have six fawn and they are exposed. They cannot take that for a win. They need the north. Let's draw. Red. Okay, interesting. Potential pung, two, four points. Half flesh is, either way, we don't need this and there's two out. Let's just throw it, move the game along. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. That's too many. All right, we'll just keep going. We'll see what happens. Let's draw. We need a north. Five bam. That's not helpful. We need that north. That's their only recourse right now. Five bam. Five bam. I would not take that. Don't make an exposure if you know you can't win. We're heading into the end of the middle game. I think really they should either play half flesh or defense. One bam. Well, there's some saving grace right there. Potential chow, potential punk, potential chow. Pair up here. Let's go ahead and discard the five dot. See if we can get them to a half flesh at a late stage. I don't know if that's going to work. But these tiles here, there's a four out. There are se uh, seven out in a exposure. These might be okay. Let's draw. Seven dot. Seven dot. We're going to chow for a mixed triple chow. We can mix triple chow here, here, pung. Let's get rid of the nine bam. These are going to be scary to discard. Let's draw. 
nine crack. That would be a discard. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Four ban. Wow, they're really drawing that well now. Four crack. Gee. Potential, 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 potential. No potential as singles. We got to discard those. Drawing four south. One dot. Drawing for west. Six crack. We need a seven crack. Drawing here. East. We need a north. Drawing four east. Five crack. That's a discard. Now, right now, they're all concealed. All concealed. A concealed hand is too fun. Concealed is too fun. All right, well, let's, we'll see. They still have a long way to go and we're heading into the end game. So five crack was thrown. Nobody can take it. White, those are all out. Drawing four west, four bam. Yeah, that's not gonna be helpful because we went five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Let's discard the four bam. Probably should make a decision on these. Kept the four as a safe discard. Let's draw, or safer discard. Seven dot. Nobody wants dots. Drawing for east. Nine bam. Wow. They really drew well into those bams. Seven crack. Drawing here. Three dot. The seven cracks are kind of going down and they need it here. We just got through the third wall. It's going to be West turn. So really everybody should be either deciding to push to win or fold. I think this one, we have potential chow all through here and a potential pung. One, two, three, four. All they need in here is a pair. These are all really frightening discards though. I'm not sure there's a big wall left here. Potential chow, I would push to win here. We just need a chow and then pair up. That's going to probably be a naked weight where they're just sitting here with one tile. Here, we still have the potential for a mixed triple chow and a dragon pung. Here, ready to win on a north. This player might consider folding. Otherwise, everyone, I would think, should play to win. Drawing for west. Eight crack. We need a seven crack. How many seven cracks are out? Two. One in a chow, one in a discard. So it's not over. It's not over for them yet. Let's draw. Six bam. We have a chow out. We need that north. We need the north. Six bam. How many six bams are out? Because this player needs a six bam. Just one. So that, that is still viable. Okay, six bam. One, three, four, six, six, seven. Can't take it. We're going to draw. Six dot. Drawing four south. Five bam. Shoot. Drawing for west. Red. They got a pung. Oh my goodness. Okay. Five, six, seven. Let's go for two dragon pungs. Let's get, let's get rid of this eight bam. We'll get rid of that eight bam next. We just need to chow. And this way too, we don't have to throw away a scary tile. Eight bam. Here we need a north. Seven crack. Discard. We're nearly, nearly dead here, down here, flower. Five, bam, keeper, wow. Okay, one, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, nine. Okay, now 
all these are kind of scary. Let's see what's out west. West and east are out. West. West. Nope. Can't take it. Drawing four south. Three crack. Pair. Let's get rid of the green dragon. Green dragon. They're ready to win on a six crack. Half flesh. Pung a seat wind. That's eight fawn. Okay, so green dragon was discarded. You might think, well, why not pung? That would be two, four points. We can't do it. We, we're shooting for mixed triple chow. We got to draw. Eight crack. We need a seven crack so badly. Oh my gosh. Drawing four north. <gasps> they won. They got it. I wasn't sure if that was going to come in because this north down here. They got it. Self pick. Pair. Pung. Pung. Chow. Chow. Oops. Chow. Flower. Okay, they made it. I am pleasantly surprised. That was exciting towards the end. I really was taken by surprise. If you would have done anything differently for these hands, write a timestamp in the comment section and what you would have done. I'm still learning myself. It's very complex with that scoring. So I could very well have missed some opportunities. I'm going to rewatch this solitaire game and see for myself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.